Welcome to another growing season update. This weekend, we had some unseasonably low average nighttime temperatures. This caused some frost damage. Some of your plants may look like this and have damaged tissue. The growing point stays below ground until V6. You can see in this image at V4, the growing point is still a half an inch deep. In order to damage the growing point, the soil temperatures need to be around 32 degrees. The good news is that our soil temperatures did not get this low, and for this reason, the growing point was not damaged. That is why you are seeing cosmetic damage to the plant, which it should outgrow. UW-Madison has done research in 2001 to 2005 to simulate this defoliation at an early phase in the corn plant. In this study, they clipped all the leaves of the plants and found an 8% yield reduction. The clipping represented if all the plants were brown in the field, but the growing point was not damaged. They found minimal damage when they clipped half of the plants in different patterns. Most of that damage of clipping in different patterns is representative of the damage we see in fields today. You may have noticed similar damage in your soybeans. Frost damage occurs in soybeans uh, at or below around 28 to 30 degrees. It is recommended that we wait four to five days after frost to look at the soybeans to see if there's new growth coming from the auxiliary buds if one or more of those cotyledons did not freeze off. If the beans are further along, some of your vegetative growth may come from some of those vegetative buds. The frost this weekend caused some cosmetic damage on our crops, but the good news is it had very minimal effect on our yield potential. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call and we'd be happy to come out and look at fields with you. Have a great day.